This webinar is to discuss the benefit of preprinting your application cards. Preprinting application cards is a real simple process in WinLabs. You go to reports and you scroll all the way down to the bottom and you click on Bowler membership application. Now, what this does is it creates a set of application cards that can go into the league packet and be given out to your bowlers. Now there's some discussion as to whether or not this is a good idea. And this webinar really doesn't go into the act of doing the card, but what you can do. Um, people view pre-printing the application cards if you have a high turnover of bowlers in a league as wasteful. They see that the cards are pre-printed, you're using ink, you're using cards, and they're getting thrown away because the turnover in the league is high. That's one way of looking at it. Another way of looking at it is making it easier for the bowler to get the membership application card filled out, signed, and back to you with their money, and it's over and done with for them. One, one of the other sides of membership application cards printing them versus not printing them, is if you print them, people feel that the bowler does not change their address. They just sign them, give the money, and it's out of their hair. And oftentimes that causes the membership card not to get to the bowler. The flip side of that is not to print membership application cards. If you just give them blanks, they fill out the card, you're going to get the most accurate information. However, a lot of people feel that the handwriting piece to this causes more headache than it's worth. So you can look at it from either side of the coin. Membership application cards are great and they're pre-printed and all you have to do is look for somebody to write on them and make a change when you're processing or you'd rather just have them fill them out and try and figure out their handwriting. So it's a double-edged sword and you can kind of make the decision as to what works best for you. As far as pre-printing cards, you can also get blanks that tell what the league that it's coming from is, so it'll pre-print just the card itself. And that you can do by going to the output options and going to the print, zero blank applications only. And that will give you only blanks, which means that the, the center and the league will appear on the card. No bowler information will appear on the card. If you want to add a percentage of blanks to your application cards that you pre-print, you just add a percentage here. So if you want 10% blank cards, it'll give you those first, and it'll show you the league in the center, and then blank, blank, blank and then it would start printing the bowler's information. Another option that you can choose is you can go to the report options and uncheck the show address. If you uncheck the show address, it's just gonna print the information about the bowler, but it's gonna leave out the average or address and it's going to have the bowler fill out their address. That can solve the problem of not getting the right information. So you can do that. There's also other options here. You can have it create a page break between the leagues so you don't have to rip the cards apart when it changes leagues. You can do that. You can show a barcode. If you're a larger association and you're using a barcode reader to start to enter the bowler's information into the league, you can use barcodes and that will print on every card. You can also match stock and previous membership, and that is for adult youth leagues, so that when you print your application cards, you put the adult card stock in the printer, print the adults by checking the match stock choice. So if they were an adult, they go on adult stock, then you would change your stock, and you would put the youth stock in, and then you would print the youth, and it would put them on the youth stock. So there's lots of different ways to do this, but I wanted to take a few moments to just discuss 
what the benefits and drawbacks are to pre-printing membership application cards. The next video that you should watch is how to pre-print membership application cards.